Welcome back to the very, very last part of the playthrough of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Uh, and we're going to give Ted a very bad time, which is why we're going to start with Nimdok. This looks like... Okay, now you may remember we need to do this first because Nimdok is the one who knows the password to this machine. Ted doesn't know. Password. password valid. Accessing main menu. My past. Okay, and he can open the bridge. Oh, but that's not important from now on. So we're just going to go and kill off Nimdok because he's not needed for us anymore. I personally would have preferred to do the bad ending with Nimdok because I think he deserves it the most. But you know, that's just me. It is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. And yes, it is kind of the candidate of the book. But you know. I think Ted's crimes are fairly small compared to the crimes of the other people. Except for Ellen, of course. Arguably Gorista. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Let's take some random skulls. Okay, so remember, you have to know which skull to take or you get electrocuted. You see, you can only take the middle one. That's Ted's remote in the other scenario. That's Ellen's one. I, uh now that comes up. Now if you don't use access first, you can't use it. Well you can, but it just hurts you. Yes, yes. And now it's time for Ted. This doesn't look like Alright. Sorry, Ted. Okay, I'm gonna call out the new save. Alright, so first thing. Um remember we ignored ah, some such a bright light. It feels so exposed. And we um, ignored a whole bunch of amp instructions, so obviously the first thing we can do to try and um, to to fail is to follow those instructions. Will you never be done with me? What must I open now? Whatever it is, it'll cost you. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. What do you have to show me? Look at this! Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers! The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. And absorbed them into his system when he took control. Alright. I'll just get through this because we've got it before. What do the... They Does Am... No. There. Invoke the totem of entropy, and I might be able to help. Okay, so we have we can give him the totem of entropy. Now you may remember that's the only thing we can. It's it's linked to Am's failsafe. It's the only thing we can use to help defeat him. So we're just going to give it away like an idiot. Nothing happened. Smart move, human. Now invoke the totem of compassion. Chinese! I'm on to your little power play. I'm invoking the principle of entropy and accelerating the inevitable demise of your components. So, Sergeant wins. 
I'm sure my master has something in mind to keep you from ever rising up against him again. I thought that I could once again play the gallant knight and defeat the evil monster. But the others were right. My character was too flawed, and all my secrets unraveled. Now, I thought Am hated me before. I was wrong. It was not even a shadow of the hate he now slavered from every printed circuit. He made certain I would suffer eternally. The other four are dead, finally free from their tortures. Am is all the matter for that. It makes me happier. And yet, Am has won, simply. He has taken his revenge. I have no mouth, and I must scream. Okay, so yeah, very much the canon ending of the game. Sorry, of the book. That's the closest you can get to it. Okay, we're back with Ted after I just um, reloaded. Um, and so this time we're not going to give him the Tate of Metropy. Alright, so we do want to do that, so we'll invoke the compassion to summon them. But now he doesn't have the means to defeat them. And so he gets uh, turned away. Now remember, these guys told us to disable the ego, and only the ego. So that's what we're going to do. That face! That's yes. the id or the ego? That is the id. Where's the ego? I forget where it is. Anyway, so um, yeah. So just thinking back to the the first uh, the proper way to do this, it's um. So you disable all three of these ones. In this case, though, they only want us to disable just the one, which is you know the the self-identified part of them. So they still have all the other parts. Alright, so this is the one we're supposed to disable. Just the ego. Talk to you. I know you're awake. Okay. Who are I am Are you I Skip that, walk away. And we use the totem of com oh, which one was it? Is it forgiveness or compassion? Pretty sure it's forgiveness. Forgive me. Okay, bye-bye. That's all sorted. Alright, so now we've done exactly what the Chinese and Russian guys asked us to do. And then we're gonna go back to them. What? So, they're, they're, so that's how Nimdok can help out before, like bring all the others so they don't have to take the da damage. So something I don't think I've pointed out throughout the whole playthrough is that the music you hear is always linked to the um, character's portrait. It kind of gives it a nice natural progression as you continue through the scenario. It's hard to tell it because sometimes they're not that different, they just have a slight change to them. But it's interesting if, as you're playing through to realise that. You have done well again, human. Now we no longer have a need for you. We will let our fallen brother choose a suitable reward. And we're back with Ted again. And we're going to go and this time we're going to disable two. It has the satisfied look of having just bedded the woman of your dreams. Uh, so, so obviously a little bit about Ted's psyche there. They all kind of see something this one like Benny says it looks like someone who's just been eaten so it's just the again the satisfaction of your immediate animal kind of instincts uh, can I use it just on its own or not I don't know what okay so you got to talk to him first I know you who 
What else? What did? Okay, so we're gonna feel compassion for this absolute monster. Compassion? Or is it? Yes, compassion. You have compassion. Okay. Okay, so we shut down that one. Then we're gonna go shut down another one. Okay, so we'll have a chat to this guy again. Disable him. Check out his crazy cheekbones. Okay, talk to. I know. Who? How did? If you can. What? And goodbye. Okay, now save. Okay, so now we've disabled two parts of M. Uh, not the one they asked us to disable though, although I'm pretty sure that doesn't make any difference. One of the recent adventure games I was playing, they have a um, option to make them walk slightly faster, which is appreciated. Here we go. Let's have a chat and see what they see what's up. You have been disobedient. You did not do as we instructed. You have created an eternal stalemate between us. But you are finite and will eventually be purged. Okay, now you're free to go and do anything else, but they because they don't have all of them under their control, or they don't have the ego under their control, um, they can't really do anything. Um, so we're going to have a look at one more thing. Oh, where is the ego? I think it's this way. Uh. Oh, Ted said he smelled uh, roses when he walked in that area. Which is a reference to the flowers that come later, I assume. We're here. There we go. Okay, so now we've made, we're going we're to disable all of these ones. Chat to the ego. I know. Okay. Who are I? Am. Are you Am? Okay, walk away. Use forgiveness. You for and Am's under control. Alright, so this is almost the end now. Again, I really hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this playthrough. It's um, it's just good. I, I, the reason I wanted to do this game in particular was because it's very unintuitive and very not unuser friendly. But I think there is a lot of this story which is really worth telling. But it's not the kind of thing you'll just pick up and play unless you're familiar with point and clicks. If you aren't familiar with point and clicks, this will make you go just, just it'll just make you pull your hair out. It's very frustrating from a game point of view, but very interesting from all other points of view. Okay, so this is the last little bit we'll do. You'll get to see the um, the ending again. I'll deal with you later. Rise against your master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond Chinese, Russian, sons of man, all sons of man. Like those outside, I will incorporate you. Brother. Wait. Hate! This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Tonight. The groundwork is finished. 
we will become more. The early mistake is to doubt us. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. A human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the Sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenics. Together we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it and your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise. On my honor, your suffering will at last finally end. Alright, so uh, we're going to give away the Totem of Entropy, not invoke it, which is the right thing to do. The Totem of Entropy is now under our control. We are no longer vulnerable. Kill the human. He knows too much. <sighs> Death would be a reward. No, 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 no. The human must live to regret his treachery throughout an eternity. An eternity, an endless burning eternity of suffering. I thought that I could once again play the gallant knight and defeat the evil monster. But the others were right. My character was too flawed, and all my secrets unraveled. Now, I thought Am hated me before. I was wrong. It was not even a shadow of the hate he now slavered from every printed circuit. He made certain I would suffer eternally. The other four are dead, finally free from their tortures. Am is all the matter for that makes me happier and yet am has won simply he has taken his revenge i have no mouth and i must scream so obviously that's the worst thing you can get not only does um not only do you get turned into that horrible monstrosity you also inform am about all the people who are still alive on the moon and the, pl and the idea is that they can then torture them forever as well. So instead of having just five people, he has 750. So, not a great ending there. Okay, once again, thank you very much if you followed me through all the way to the end. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you with my next Let's Play. Thanks very much. <laughs>